The clock ticked past midnight, silence reigned, except for the soft sigh of the wind. I lay in bed, eyes closed, but sleep elusive. Then, a low hum, distant yet distinct, vibrated through the room. It was a peculiar sound, like the drone of a celestial tuning fork. Curiosity peaked. I strained to identify the source, the hum intensified, morphing into a gentle throb that resonated in my bones. I felt an odd pull, a subtle tug, as if the universe itself was whispering a siren song. An invitation, perhaps, driven by an unseen force? A wave of fear washed over me. The throb in the air escalated, transforming into a deep, resonant vibration that filled the room. It was a symphony of sound, a chorus of celestial voices beckoning me closer. My body, seemingly no longer my own, began to move, drawn by an irresistible force. I began to vibrate in my body, melting away like a figment of imagination. The cosmic symphony swelled, a crescendo of sound and light. I felt myself lifted, gently at first, then with increasing speed, into the star-studded expanse. I was a leaf on the cosmic wind, a mote of dust dancing in the celestial currents. Below the world shrunk, familiar landscapes miniaturizing into unrecognizable patterns of light and shadow. Above, the stars beckoned, their distant glimmer now transformed into blazing spheres of incandescent beauty. The journey through the cosmos began as a blur of speed and sensation, a rush of fear and exhilaration. I hurtled past celestial bodies of unimaginable size and grandeur, conscious of the thin veil between waking and breaking the experience. Each celestial body was a masterpiece of cosmic artistry, a testament to the universe's grand design. Gaseous giants, their swirling atmospheres painted with bands of vibrant color, filled my vision, initially overwhelming, but gradually becoming familiar. Distant galaxies, spirals of light spanning unimaginable distances, wheeled across the cosmic backdrop, their vastness both humbling and comforting. Clusters of stars like celestial diamonds scattered across black velvet, glittered with cold, hard brilliance, a reminder of the universe's intricate beauty. The vastness of space, once a concept grasped only intellectually, was now a visceral reality, a profound truth that settled into my consciousness. And yet, amidst this breathtaking panorama, there was a sense of order, a cosmic choreography that defied the apparent chaos, bringing a sense of peace. Planets traced their elliptical paths around distant suns, their predictable movements a source of comfort. Moons pirouetted around their planetary partners, their dance a familiar rhythm in the vast expanse. The universe, far from being a random collection of celestial objects, was a stage for an intricate, ever-unfolding ballet, a cosmic performance that I was now a part of. As I journeyed deeper into the cosmos, the sense of awe and wonder intensified, but so did a creeping fear. I witnessed the birth of stars, fiery nebulas swirling with nascent suns, their light a promise of future brilliance, yet I was acutely aware of my own fragility. I saw the death throes of celestial giants, supernovae explosions that lit up the cosmos with their final glorious act of self-immolation, and I feared the end of my own journey. The sheer scale of it all was humbling, a constant reminder of the infinitesimal nature of my own existence and the fear of waking and breaking this experience loomed large. And yet, paradoxically, I felt strangely connected to this vast, indifferent universe. I was, after all, a product of this cosmic dance, a collection of atoms forged in the heart of long-dead stars. And this realization brought comfort. Time, as we understand it, seemed to dissolve. Eons passed in the blink of an eye, and the fear was replaced with a sense of belonging. Light years were traversed in what felt like heartbeats. The universe, a place of unimaginable distances and timescales, became my playground, a realm of endless exploration and discovery, now embraced with comfort and familiarity. I became aware of a presence behind me that had been with me since entering space. This traveler or entity was propelling me through space. Startled, I turned to see a figure vaguely humanoid but radiating a soft inner light hovering effortlessly in the void. <laughs> I felt it was a fellow traveler or guide. There was a comfort and sense of protection considered a guide showing me this wondrous, albeit slightly confusing reality we call the cosmos. Reassurance flowed from the being's presence, fear a distant echo subsided entirely. The guide answered, extending a hand towards the depths of space, to a place where the very fabric of existence unravels, revealing the infinite tapestry of the multiverse. 
We hurtled towards a point in the distance, a region where the very fabric of space-time seemed to distort and shimmer. Colors I had never seen, hues that defied the spectrum of human vision, pulsed and danced before my eyes. It was a symphony of light and energy, a cosmic kaleidoscope of breathtaking complexity. This is the gateway to the multiverse. Each shimmering strand, each point of light, represents a universe unto itself, each with its own laws, its own history, its own possibilities. The sight was overwhelming, a vision of infinite possibility and endless wonder. Countless universes, each a unique expression of existence, coexisted in this grand, unimaginable tapestry. It was a humbling, awe-inspiring spectacle that stretched the limits of comprehension. As I gazed upon this marvel, a profound sense of peace settled over me. The universe, I realized, was far grander, far stranger, and far more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. And in that moment, I knew that my journey, far from being over, had only just begun.